Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays uh, Rogue Legacy. Man, I still, I I just started this series tonight. I'm still on the same day that I've been recording this and I'm still not used to saying the title of this game, which is really sad. And I still haven't stopped to look who made this game. I am like the worst fan ever. Okay, so Rogue Legacy, moving on. Uh, last time we did a little bit of farming, not too much exciting happening. We're still trying to hunt down Khadir and kill him. But, uh, hopefully we'll actually get around to that here with one of these episodes. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the Paladin Savant here with the Blade Wall. Because I remember, Blade Wall doesn't actually really protect you against projectiles so much. as uh, We can't afford anything. That's dumb. Um... So much as it actually uh, damages things that run into it, which doesn't become a huge factor until later on. But if we're going to fight Khedir, he has a giant unmoving eyeball. So we could just cast it on top of him and let the damage roll in. And all things, all things will be great. That's the plan, at least. Okay, there we go. Immediately dodge there. And, whoa, okay. And that's how we're going to handle that situation. Good stuff. Fortunately, I was not tall enough to take that hit while I was standing on a barrel. That would have been just real embarrassing. We're going to wait for him to fire and then kill him like that. Excellent stuff. Super, super excellent stuff. All right. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Got him. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and we're right hand rolling this time. I had this discussion last time about how I prefer to do my dungeon crawling. And good God, why is... I hate this. Descending is a lot harder than ascending, that's for sure. Blood Cape, cool. Another vampirism item. Uh, that's that's pretty good. We'll have three. That'll make the amount of health we get back whenever we kill something eight. And uh, yeah, we'll still probably die constantly. Let's go ahead and move on here. Right now, yeah, we're doing six hit points a kill. And plus also chicken. Chicken is always good. At least it doesn't come alive and attack us. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the last video. Uh, oh, jeez, it's one of those guys. I don't like these guys. There we go. Run into that. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker. Okay, he's just gonna flame right into me, and that's not good either. Okay, there we go. That's another one of those level 3 enemies. If you can imagine all of the little flame guys being the big flame guys, that is... Actually, I don't even know if that is level 3. That might just be level 2, which is terrifying. I forget... Um, but yeah, New Game Plus Plus, everything is just completely overpowered and like in its final forms. And that's one of the final forms, or at least a medium form. So that means New Game Normal Plus is everything is one of those. So just to give you an idea of how the difficulty scales from one game to another. Um, one game to another, meaning New Game Plus, or New Game to New Game Plus to New Game Plus Plus. Kind of like that. Except even more hellish and atrocious and time-wasting. Okay, there we go. We're just going to kill everything I see through your trap painting. And... Oh, God. Frames. Why? What's happening? Wait. I don't understand. Hold on. Apparently, Audacity has decided to write to disc at, like, the most inopportune and annoying time. Either that or Fraps did. I'm not really sure. Uh, we must be getting into a new section of the disc that is new territory and I need to defrag my uh, my drive that I keep all of my pre-edited videos on. That's probably the case if I had to guess. Okay, I don't like this hallway at all. Not one bit. I, I, you can keep it, sir. Okay, moving around. That doesn't mean I won't collect. Take no damage. Oh, I could do this. I got double jump. I got the down strikes. I got the fairy chest. What's up? Curse Rune! Curse Rune! I'm trying to remember. Is Curse Rune good? I probably shouldn't have just dropped there and taken, like, all of that damage, but I'm just busy trying to remember if Curse is any good. This is important. Alright, we'll just drop from the top of the bookshelf here. Fortunately, we're not clumsy, so we can actually use this as a convenient assassination platform. Um... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh god, what's his name? The, the Assassin's Creed guy. Uh, um... Senator Altair, we understand that you have a unique political platform that you stand upon and that you stand by. Can you explain that a little bit more? Uh, yes, I speak from the assassination platform. That maybe wasn't the best joke, but you see what I was going for. I was like, assassination, that's a political platform, not necessarily just a place that you drop and kill from people from. Um, what are, what are the tenets of the assassination platform? Uh, death to our enemies, and nobody knows who did it, ever. Wow! Two teleports right next to each other, huh? That's good for me because I got all that healing. 
But that's the land of darkness. This is bad. We are not in the least bit ready for that area yet. So, hold on. Let me let me map this. Where are we? Okay, we've got to go back. Khidir is somewhere in this area. But now we know where to go for the forest and the darkness. So, if we really totally manage to pull the craziest of victories out of our asses, we'll be able to make real quick progress from one to the next. Um, of course, the Maya is somewhere totally different, and that's kind of the interstitial area. I could try to kill stuff, but those mace guys are not to be messed with. And also there was a giant slime that spits, splits into smaller slimes whenever you attack it. And those slimes leave fires wherever they go. So my guess is my survival rate would not be that fantastic. Hey, it's Hrilir. Hooray. Uh, let's go ahead and get all these treasures. I'm debating if I'm done yet or if I want to try to find more food. And by find more food, I mean kill more people. Let's see what kind of enemies we face over here. It's a treasure chest on spikes. That's not enemies or food, but it is treasure chest on spikes. And now we have 1340. Woo, personal best, maybe a tiny bit. Let's go over here. We'll probably end up hitting the Maya pretty quickly and turning around. So I just want to make sure I enter this fight with the best possible advantage that I can get. Um, let's see, is this particularly threatening? No. Okay. Yes, we are going to get much more hit points back. We will achieve many hit points. You're dead. And I am one-shotting a lot of guys. I like my chances in this particular run. So, just as long as I don't get hit by unnecessary blood drops and or use my dodging abilities effectively. Whoa! Speaking of which... Okay. And that's more money. Okay. Did not overjump. Overjumping bad. There we go. And didn't even need double jump for any of that. Just would have made things a little bit easier if uh, worse came to worst. There we go. Dead table. Excellent stuff. Oh, hey, another journal. Let's read it. Ooh. Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and will not back out. So far, none of the maps I found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I have unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right, the tower above, and below, well, hopefully I won't have to fight out. So, the tower he's referring to is the Maya. Okay, so we've got this asshole. Can I beat this asshole? I'm trying to remember how much of his pattern do I remember. I remember enough of it. Yes. Okay, that's easy enough. Okay, that's right. He does that three times in a row. I just have to stay in the air. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Yep. I'm focusing. Sorry. Okay. Yes! I killed him! I killed him good. What did we get? We got a blood helm. Cool. I've got like almost all the blood gear already. That's incredible. Okay. That was... Well, I'm at half the health I was whenever uh, a few seconds ago, but still worth it in my opinion. If nothing else, yeah. More unlocks. More blood equipment. Blood equipment is really good early equipment. I, In my opinion... It beats out the night equipment, even though the night equipment has better uh, defense. I feel confident enough in my abilities that I will be able to kill things with enough frequency that a lack of health should not be a concern or taking damage. Ooh, by, in lieu of the fact that... Okay. Okay. As I say that, this is real scary. <laughs> All of that confidence? Not existent at the moment. Don't mind me. Okay. Let's go this way. We're gonna activate that painting. He's gonna spin around and be a douche. Just die. There we go. Okay. 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 Whew. Made it to the bookshelf. Sorry if that came out on the microphone really heavy. Um, that was that was real relief there. Okay. Let's do gold here. And all right. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not being overly cocky here, and actually maintaining positive health. Next time we hit max health. I will turn around, I promise. I will, I will turn this character around and we will go fight the boss. Yes. And then I'll just be extra careful and make sure I don't lose any health on the way back to some of these immobile traps. There we go. We are at full health. That's the Maya. Just wanted to confirm. And we move on. Okay. Good. Good. Still a little nerve-wracking. I know there are traps and things that can kill me that I can't eliminate or make go away permanently, but, uh, you know. 
That's the buy-in, really. All right, we can just barely outrun fire. I'm gonna sneak peek. <gasps> Ooh, that is a fountain. That is a fountain that will cover everything. So we can go ahead and finish doing our little explorations here. All right, what's down here? I don't like these platforms. It implies that there are spikes everywhere, and I was right. I remembered it in the back of my mind. It was like, nope, nope, don't do it. There we go. So we recovered everything anyways. It was a little superfluous, but either way, I think we're ready to fight this boss. I've got 1850 gold. It doesn't matter. We're coming out of this ahead regardless of what happens. So let's beat this boss, get an even larger stack of money, and just go totally nuts with the upgrades and really, really make some progress in this video. Okay. And here we go. Let's do it. Hey there. <clears throat> Hey there, hey there, I don't... Hey there? No, that can't be it. Okay, well, I'm gonna take damage right off the top, and I can't take any more damage now. Alright. Okay, I have the ability that changes the spell I cast every time I cast a spell. Beautiful. Alright, that works out pretty well. Okay. Okay. Just don't get hit. I'm gonna go a little quiet, in case you couldn't tell. Oh my god, I wish I had some sort of consumable. Okay, I'm out of magic. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I double jumped when I should have not. Oh, god, that was really close. That was really, really close. Okay, I made some really dumb mistakes there, but at least it wasn't before I was at the boss that I made the stupid mistakes, because then I would have felt really bad. Okay, so... Let's see, who are we doing next? Lady Teresa, the Barbarian, Ectomorph, Clumsy... Uh, size... Uh, idactic Memory... I, you remember things with extreme clarity. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Oh, it keeps the special icons on the map, I think. Maybe? Not entirely sure. And, uh, Sir Kotaki, the mage, he's bald. We're gonna do this. Yes. Once again, he's got Conflux. That's the name of the ability there. And now what do I want to do? Do I want to upgrade skills or equipment? I think we want to upgrade equipment. So let's go ahead and we are going to unlock the... Well, let me see. Weight. I need 20 weight for that. What do I need for the rest of this? I need 20 weight for that. So I need 40 weight. And... What would I need for the ranger gear or the silver helmet? That's just... Oh. It's actually lighter to equip this armor. I'm thinking. Okay, cool. Let's let's see what runes did we get here. We got curse room. Oh, harder enemies but greater rewards. Multiple stack. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you get more stuff. Um, I accidentally spent money on that. I feel like a dummy. <laughs> Well, okay, let's just go back here and spend what we have left on the ability to actually equip things in the future. That sounds like the most fair option. And then next we'll replace our helm and move on. I, I accidentally hit a button. I accidentally hit a button and now we're here. Either way, balding is now what it says instead of loading. That's Or building is what it usually says instead of loading, but now it says balding, which is hilarious. Um, There you go. That's pretty much the only thing that happens whenever you're bald. Okay. Uh, we are currently a mage, which means we need to be relying more on our magic as opposed to the sword. But given that this room is so big, it's really hard to actually hit anything with Conflux, which is unfortunate. And we'll just move right along, and we're back at full health anyways, because we found a chicken. And we have plenty of vampirism to spare for the time being. Although it's not eight vampirism, which I should have, because I spent money on things I didn't want to. God damn it. Alright, cool. There we go. We're just going to try to find Kadir, and if we have even... Well, I mean, we've got more than enough health and mana now, obviously. But, uh, you know, we if we run into Kadir, we, we fight him. That's the plan. So we're going to right-hand rule it through this dungeon. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I was like, oh, no, they can't get through the walls. Their abilities can, but that's pretty easy to dodge. Q flamey guys that go through walls. Bastards. That was awful. Okay. Oh, hey, another diary. Let's read it, shall we? There's a limit to these, but they pop up and you get new entries every time you read one. Number six. 
I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies in an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving those darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horrors lie beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. Man, that, okay, that might be what's tearing up my throat so much. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I don't remember what voice I was doing originally, but I think it's evolved into something much grittier and uh, gravelier than I should be doing at a regular basis. Um, yes. Ooh, Charon's Oval. We'll get to keep our money after this run, so that's cool. Um, we might actually do that, but we're not trying to get anything that's super expensive, so there's almost no point. Uh, let's see. Cool. But yeah, that's what that item does. It allows us to keep our money uh, through to the next run. So if we want to, we could stash a lot of extra. But once again, like I said, we're not trying to get anything super expensive. So unless we just totally fail at life and don't get enough money to upgrade anything, he says as he's still in that amount of money and has a ways to go before he gets to 500 to where he could buy anything, then uh, it shouldn't come into play. Let's see. Take no damage. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, we're gonna run all the way over here. We're gonna just dodge that guy like that. Perfect. Cool, Siphon Rune. Ooh, it's magic vampirism. So Siphon is, yeah, it's like the, the vampire runes except for magic. So that's pretty handy. One of the things that will end up happening is we'll be a lot more modular with our armor as we go on because they start feeling more and more specialized tasks. So like if we're playing a mage or somebody who's really dependent on magic, there's also the spell sword, I think. Um, and a couple other things that are really good with magic and you want to kind of max out their ability to always have mana available. So, this guy included, but he also siphons magic regardless, no matter what you're doing. Okay, you've got a big sword, sir. Alright. We... The good thing about the mage, or the bad thing about the mage is not enough hit points. Very easy to die to a small number of hits. Good news is, lots of vampirism means you're almost always at full health. So, that's handy. Okay, no. Okay. You're dead, sir. Well, he was already dead, I guess, technically, but he's re-dead. Let's see. What was re-dead from? Is that a movie? I made a... I already mentioned Reanimator in a, in my Electorophobia uh, episode, but... Uh, whoa, jeez. Okay, no. Stay away. I don't need that. This is not what I need in my life right now. Okay. And we'll go up here and attack him from below. A little cheap, but, you know, it works. And... Oh, yeah, that's right. He swings that sword, and it's not an arc. I, for some reason, I was thinking that was a throw animation like the skeletons, and it was going to arc over my head harmlessly. No big deal. And then I was like, wait, no, that's a big freaking sword with a very clearly defined hitbox that is not avoidable unless you actually put some effort into it. Okay, no, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Now you're dead. Okay. We're still not past that threshold. Now we are past that threshold. We could actually buy something. So I won't feel like as much of a loser if I totally nullify everything I was talking about earlier about the conditions of actually needing to use the obol. But uh, I don't know if I'm saying that right either, by the way. So please don't hold that against me. Okay. Uh, there we go. All I know is it's OBOL and it's some kind of coin that Charon likes. Um, also, the name of the tokens you get for the boss remixes later, which is new content since the last time I played through the game. Oh, um, good. Okay. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. Oh, I died. All right, fine. Well, we could buy something. That's good. Whatever's left over, we'll be able to carry over, so that'll be fine. Unless, of course, I die without actually being able to get enough money to spend that way. All right, we're gonna stick with the Barbarian here. We want a tanky character, also Endomorph, which is fine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade weight. Yes, we need a lot of weight, so I'm not gonna be upset if maybe I wasted an opportunity there. Let's see, that's the Siphon Rune that we got. Okay, no wrong buttons, please. And do we have any of the equipment unlocked but not equipped yet? No, okay. So we should be able to equip the helmet, which will be plus to mana, which is good. A little big minus to health. That's not so great. Um, yeah, man, that is a real big minus to health. 
Maybe we won't do the Vampire Helm. Maybe we'll just wait and go straight to the Silver Helm. That seems like a much better idea. It's minus... Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, that's if you unequip it. It's plus 25. That's plus 20. That's plus 35. That is minus 30 from your base health. That, even as a barbarian, is pretty much inexcusable. Like, not a good idea. So, yeah, we'll skip the vampirism helm. I don't need it that badly. Um, let's see. And we do still need this guy here, which is just a magic upgrade, so I'm not in any rush. No big deal, in other words. We'll just move on and uh, continue onwards. Actually, I'm a giant liar. This episode is over. <laughs> Threatening lightning. I totally lost track of the time there. So, yes, I hope you've been enjoying this series. And if you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know what? I could have totally used the architect to kill Khadir there. But I guess if we lost that badly to him before, then it's not going to help. And we needed the level ups anyways. Um, but, yeah, if you're enjoying the series, please like, comment, and subscribe. And then, uh, yeah, next time we will continue our hunt for Khadir. And hopefully this won't go on for too much longer. And we can start making some progress once again. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have fun.